This morning, the Supreme Court recognized that the Constitution guarantees marriage equality. In doing so, they've reaffirmed that all Americans are entitled to the equal protection of the law. That all people should be treated equally, regardless of who they are or who they love. All right, joining us now is Wayne Besson, gay rights activist at truthwinsout.org. Hello, Wayne. Hi there, how are you? I'm doing well. So uh, your, your uh, obvious response to today's ruling? Uh, this was an historic day. This was emotional. This was incredible. This is a day I will never forget, and the court made the right decision. All right, so 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 let's uh, work on the premise that the uh, the court uh, you obviously approve of the court's decision. Um, the four justices who dissented uh, really uh, had uh, very very uh, charged uh, dissents. They each wrote their own, and uh, one of the questions that comes up from uh, Samuel Alito is what about people who disagree? Well, well, first before we get to Alito, even the man who wrote the majority opinion, Justice Kennedy. Uh, made sure to allude to the First Amendment and the rights that people have to express their dissatisfaction and disagreement with uh, the court's decision and the topic of gay marriage. Where do you fall on that? People can uh, express their dissent all they want. It's a free country. They're allowed to. If they don't agree with it, that's fine. If they don't agree with yesterday's decision on Obamacare, that's fine. If people didn't agree with the vast majority of America didn't agree with uh, Loving versus Virginia in 1967 on interracial marriage. Guess what? It's the law of the land. I mean, they can uh, they can express all the dissent they want. That's what's great about this country. We did for decades, and that's why we end up, ended up victorious. But it took decades of fighting and us expressing dissent uh, the way the laws were written. And uh, our opposition now uh, will do the same. And, um, you know, and uh, they, they fought hard. Uh, and um, express their views. They just lost. So, but All right, well, what not only lost in court, but the court of public opinion as well. Well, the court of public opinion is certainly split, according to every poll that uh, is out there. Uh, and, every and, poll and, says sixty percent. And, 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 and very and right? very very few states out of fifty, very small percentage that where the people actually voted to institute gay marriage. The overwhelming majority of states that voted. Uh, where votes took place with the people, voted to keep marriage and define it as between a man and a woman, uh, which is what was lamented by uh, Justice Roberts and others, that it's up to the people to make these decisions, not five justices to speak for the entire, uh, entire country. But let me ask you, you see people... Well, actually, it's quite the opposite, though, Steve. Actually, it is, it is five justices and not the people that should be voting on civil rights. Thank God we didn't have the people vote on civil rights for African Americans. I, I, I hate I hate when you us. I hate when you and others compare gay rights to African Americans and what they went through. Gays don't have it like that in this country, my friend, and you know it. You already had civil well, unions. I, you already had no, almost every legal you know, right. That's a, that's, uh, that's a smoke screen. What you're what you're saying is, uh, is true to the extent of that nobody has had the experience of African Americans. That is true. But at the same token, LGBT people were. Uh, pr forbidden from the right to marry, which is a fundamental right, which is incredibly important. And guess what? People shouldn't be voting on our marriages any more than they should okay. be voting okay. on interracial right. you marriages. You want to say that? In you want to say that? But but to compare your your civil rights struggle to blacks is obscene in my view. But let me I ask you this: compare, discrimination is discrimination. Okay, let me ask Nobody's you this: comparing our plight let me let me ask you. You say people could say whatever they want. The, what about what about priests and rabbis and and, and clergy who will not perform? same-sex marriages? What about churches that will continue to preach and other religious facilities that will continue to preach, mosques, synagogues in some respects, uh, that the marriage is between a man and a woman? Uh, are you going to be looking to silence them by taking away their tax-exempt status? No, in fact, they will continue to speak out against it. I will support this in anybody that tries to force uh, any one of these institutions or rabbis or priests. I will be the first in line to defend their right. Uh, not to marry anyone or, or, or participate in any ceremony that they don't agree with. That, that, and, but you know what? That's never been. That, that's always been uh, a canard. That's never been the goal of our movement. We would never ask any member of the clergy to perform a same-sex wedding, and so that's just an unfounded fear. And again, I promise you right now, I'd be the first in line to protect their right not to perform such wedding 
that's their religious belief they shouldn't have. And, and the same applies to tax, wouldn't touch their tax exempt status for what's preached from the pulpit? Uh, absolutely not. They can say, they, they can disagree from the pulpit. Okay, I okay, want. That's fair enough. Right. Let me ask you a question. Um, uh, on, the, on the heels of this, uh, this decision, uh, Frederick DeBoer, I don't know if you know who he is, an Indi Indiana doctoral student, wrote an op-ed that ran in Politico uh, where he uh, says that uh, we, we can't stop here. Uh, there should be full legalization of polygamy and polyg polygamist marriages. Is that the next step? Uh, that's not a step that I'm going to be participating in. Nobody I know has ever mentioned that. What I, what I would say is that the, the polygamy has actually predated same-sex marriage, it's, you can read about it in the Bible, and also the Mormon Church, uh, early Mormon Church, uh, practiced that, and to become a, for Utah to become a state, they had to abandon that. Uh, so that's, well, that actually is a fight that's already taken place long before anybody can see the same-sex marriages. Uh, so, you know, here's the thing. In America, every, every group that has a, has a uh, beef can take their case before the court. People who believe for polygamy, that's their right to go before the court. Are the court of public opinion to be accepted or rejected? Our movement is tigers. We have nothing to do with it. And quite frankly, most of the polygamists I know or have ever heard of have been very conservative uh, and religi uh, religious people, not uh, liberals or, or gays. So, so, are you, so do you think it's a natural extension based on this decision that they could use as a precedent to say if, gay, if men, two men could get married and two women could get married and a man and a woman could get married, why can't two women and a man get married? Would you think that's logical and legally uh, uh, acceptable? No, I don't think it has. I don't think it's connected whatsoever. It's not something I would support, and I don't. And I would. Uh, but again, somebody who does can take their case uh, to the people in the court and uh, have their day in court, just like we fought for for decades. All right. Hey, Wayne. Always appreciate talking to you, and always appreciate the fact that you keep coming on. Thank you very much. Hey, have a great Pride weekend. We certainly will. <laughs> All right. Take care, Wayne Besson, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Up next, uh, senior fellow, Family Research Council, Ken Blackwell who I'm sure will have a different point of view. Don't go away.